Hi, this is Kathy. I'm going to talk a little bit today about um, doing things with straw bales. If you get straw bales and want to make a garden out of them, you have to let them rot on the inside first before you can use them. So here's what I'm uh, what I'm doing. I'm doing a second season, so mine have already rotted. It's good if you want to uh, start by buying them in the fall and letting them sit out over winter. Put down your tarp so that you can uh, have a weed-free area to work. You don't want to spend a lot of time pulling weeds between the bales because the bales actually are pretty easy to keep. You'll notice I've got like grass here but it's really very easy and they're since they're up above the ground they um, uh, are easier to take care of because you don't have to kneel in the dirt you don't have to crouch over a lot or squat it's much easier on the knees and everything um, okay when you get them and you lay down the tarp and then you set them in place you have to put fertilizer on them and water them and do that for like 10 days and then if you want to make sure that it's okay you can take the temperature of them because when they rot they heat up on the inside and you don't want them to be too hot on the inside or the seeds will die so after they have done that um, then what you're going to do is top them off with dirt I did that, of course, last year. You can still see the dirt on them. And I've got some fresh dirt for this year. Those bags are too big for me to lay it out right now. I'm going to have to take a shovel and shovel it on, and I don't really need you to watch me do that. Just top it off with some dirt. And then um, also for, if you're gonna put in tomatoes, or any other, actually anything. Put in some uh, bone meal. I've got, I've got some of this right here. And some people use blood meal, um, but the bone meal, will, the calcium in that is going to prevent blossom end rot on your tomatoes if you put tomatoes in here. Um, if you end up having trouble, because you're going to keep these pretty wet, straw does not hold water well, so you're going to have to water them pretty much every day, and if it's really a hot, dry section of the summer, do it twice a day, otherwise your roots will dry out. That is going to invite slugs. They don't tell you about that in all of the gardening books on straw bales, but I'm going to tell you right now, it attracts slugs. So what you will do for that is get some, you don't want to poison them. You can put down um, uh, jar lids and put some beer in it and they'll go right to that and drown. Uh, but then you have to empty it and that's disgusting. So what I use is um, diatomaceous earth. Can you, can you read around the curve there? Diatomaceous earth is... Um, see tiny microscopic sea creatures that have like a really crusty shell and when they die it's it, their shells break up and it's almost like glass bits it won't hurt you it will not guard it hurt the garden if you get it in the in your knuckle skin it itches like crazy because it is irritating but it will keep the slugs away because it irritates their soft underbellies um, and it will get into, if you have like a, a crawly insect kind of a thing, it will get into their, the, the ridges in their shells and it will kill them. So it's, it's triple good. It's not poisonous. It gets rid of slugs and it gets rid of bugs. So that takes care of um, the pest part of your garden. Also, because the garden is raised, you will have less trouble with rabbits. Rabbits don't usually jump up unless they're under stress, and I'm not going to let my dogs get to the rabbits to stress them and make them jump up on my garden. But I had no trouble with rabbits last year. Some things grow better on straw bales, and some things don't. 
I had an issue last year with zucchinis. The um, I guess it was so much water that they rotted at the base right by the root. I had it did get some zucchinis off of them before they died, but I didn't get a whole season's worth. So. Um, if you're going to do tomatoes, figure out a way to stake them so the stake is in all the way through the bale or next to the bale down into the ground because straw bales are not sturdy enough to support a tomato plant by themselves or even a tomato cage. So find some kind of a sturdy stake. Um, you can plant pole beans or anything. Find some way to uh, give them a support and it's going to have to go into the ground but that can easily be arranged you can just you know take some of these long stakes and put string along in between them and then hang some strings down they'll grow right up the strings and that will do it um, I can't think of anything else um, you can grow root crops in here I've even done potatoes if you put straw bales together like this okay put put them side by side instead of lengthways and put some distance in between them like maybe five or six inches in between put some dirt down in the bottom just just a couple inches and then put your potato eyes down into that dirt and it will grow up between the straw bales and as the vines grow up, you have to stuff either more straw or a little more dirt in there. And the potatoes will actually spread out into the straw bales. So in the fall, when you're harvesting them, take the bales apart and dig around the, um, the edges and you'll find your potatoes. They're really tasty. And they're, they don't get as dirty because they're not in dirt. Carrots the same way. They don't get as dirty. And it's really easy to pull them up and to uh, just, you know, twist off the top and wash them and they're ready to go. Very simple, you don't have to do any digging. Um, that's about all I can think of for the straw bales. It's almost late to process them now, but you probably could still do it. We have a cold snap coming in the next day or two. And uh, you can get every if you can find a farmer who will deliver them to you or get out and buy them they're too expensive at at uh, the farm store see if you can if you know any farmer who has some spare bales and uh, get a few and try it out you don't have to do as many as I have I think I've got 10 here right now I had 12 but two of them fell apart so um, this year it's going to be 10 bales and two keyhole gardens, and that's what my harvest is going to be. I hope you have a lovely day. Um, please think about it. There, you're going to if if we have issues with this um, COVID-19 for too much longer, you're going to want to have your food growing right at your house. It's a good thing to think about. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Stay safe and stay well.